See, it scoots right on up the hill. But it does that. I mean, I didn't touch the buttons at all, and it just done, did, did that all on its own. So that's why we want to make sure we have rails before, <laughs> before we <laughs> drive this thing on any ramps. Welcome back, everybody, to Satisfactory. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to get started with our coal uh, power plant. But before we get started, if you want to come and hang out on Discord with my awesome Discord community, you can find the link in the description of the video. I also live stream several times a week, and I multi-stream to YouTube, Twitch, and Facebook. So you can find the links to all of those places in the description and also in the About section of the YouTube channel. Okay, let's get started. So I spent some time off camera and there was a couple of different areas I was thinking about for the coal. And the first, my first choice originally, my first choice I should say, uh, was over here. Uh, so I had even gone so far as clearing out all the trees because I thought we were going to build this way. But I went down there and I looked around and um, it's, it's a bit tight. It's a bit tight and there's also two sulfur nodes that I eventually want to tap into that are right smack dab in the middle of the area that I would that I would set up uh, you know the production line um, when I set up my coal factories or when I have done it in the past not that I've done it a million times but I've done it a few times now um, and I like, I like to keep the coal generators close to the water and not high up because if you keep them high up then you have to install a bunch of extra pumps to move the water vertically up the pipe so I, I, I just, I, I'm going to nix building things down uh, there. I, I have a couple of other plants for over here, though. The sulfur being one of them, and then we also have some catarium over there that we need to tap into, which will probably be the very next thing we'll do after we get the coal set up. But anyway, uh, so what the plan is going to be then is we're going to go over this direction. Now, there is a coal uh, deposit just right over on the other side of this rock, not too far away. And it's a pure deposit. So what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to use that one for um, for steel production. Um, being as how it's a pure deposit. I don't know if it'll be enough to support the entire steel production line when it's all said and done. But we have other options too if it doesn't. But we'll start with that one. And what we're going to do for the coal is we're going to come down this way. So um, down... For some reason, my scanner doesn't pick them all up, but there's four normal coal, no uh, coal nodes right down in there, just right on the uh, where that 630 meter one. There's actually four down there. Maybe the scanner doesn't pick it up because they're so close to each other. I'm not sure, but they're four normal, so there's a lot of coal down there. Um, and then this little water area is is pretty good size. I mean, it's definitely large enough for us to build the coal factory, but. And once you kind of go out of this inlet, there, there's like an enormous lake out there. I, I actually went out uh, on the lake, built the platform way, way out, and then it ended up jumping in the water and just swimming um, to check it out. And it just, it goes off into the void. I mean, it's, uh, <laughs> there, there's a ton of water out there. So that means there's a, you know, a lot of space. But probably what we would do, though, is we would try and build the coal plant maybe on this what you know this inlet I guess because um, there's a lot of room down there too but we could always expand out to, to there if we wanted to it's a little further away but there's just an endless practically an endless amount of water there um, deep water you know that we could uh, use okay so anyway what we're going to do here is um, I want to build a ramp down there so I have to figure out exactly how we're going to do this because this thing is smack dab in the way. So if we remove this um, and we start a ramp from here, let's go ahead and get our ramp out. Okay, turn it this way. And we need to... Yeah, what we're going to have to do, this is going to go right into the conveyor belt. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to raise this up. And by the way, my concrete production is completely stalled because my four my four bins are, are filled up. Um, so I'm not actually going to worry about that for now. Uh, we'll, we'll deal with it later, but I'm not going to worry about it for now. Okay, so 
if we remove this, what we're going to do is... Here, let's put another ramp down there so we can actually get down there. Or close enough, anyway. Is that going to actually run into that? It's yeah, it's just, just skirts underneath it. But, I mean, it, it's still not going to work because it's going to block us from going down there. So let's grab a Mark II conveyor and just turn it this way. And, yeah, just put it there. Um, no, this needs to be reversed. Yeah, like that. No, no, no. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> um, not reversed. Default. Okay. I want it to go that way, and then I want the input to be this way. There we go. That's what we're after. Okay, we're going to do the same thing on this side. So grab the Mark II belt. And we want the output there. No, this one we do need to reverse. Okay. Uh, do I still have it? Yeah, okay. So, reversed. Output there. Input there. All right. Um, no. Oh, goodness gracious. It's early in the morning. My brain is not working. Let's try this again. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Okay. We do want this reversed because we want the input down below. Um, no, it is. It's okay. There we go. There we go. So input down below, output up above. Whew, that was harder than it needed to be. Okay, let's grab a Mark II belt and reconnect this. And then my wire's in the way there. I can't get to the to the thingamadoodle. There we go. Go into... Hmm, I got this backwards, didn't I? Okay, let's just go down here. Okay, the input's got to be on the top. Where is it currently? Okay, so the output's on the top, so this one has to be reversed. There we go. Now I think we finally got it right. So get that down there, that up there. Take me the whole damn episode just to figure out how to get this, <laughs> get these things in place. Okay, uh, connect that and connect that. There, all right. We're back in business with that. So now um, we're going to continue our belt here. Or I'm sorry, our ramp. And getting around this from here, well, we're just going to have to jump. I suppose um, there's not really an eloquent way for me to do that. I mean, we can just jump it, I guess. It could be an issue if we have to bring a, a vehicle along here at some point but if that happens then I'll I'll come up with a plan B there might even be one of the special blocks we can like a wedge we can put in there okay so let's get rid of this and then we're gonna get this we're gonna go into zoop zoopity doopity doop and we're gonna run this ramp all the way down this way Okay, so this gets us, see, even, even this body of water is really good sized, um, and the coal is just right across, I want to call this a river, really, because it's almost like a big wide river. Um, so now what we'll probably do from here is we're going to want to put some foundations out uh, along the water where we're going to put the water pumps. Well, and then we're going to put the probably put the coal factory just directly above them uh, or not maybe we'll just like I said keep everything on all on one level I haven't fully decided how this is gonna 
turn out yet. If we go to here, and that I believe is lined up. Can we zoop it into the ground there? Doesn't seem to want to come into the ground. Okay, we have, there's another thing we can do for that. This gets out onto the water, so let's just take that straight on out there. And if we go to the one meter foundation, can we get it to attach there? Let's get out of zoop mode for a second. Go into default. Oh, it just did it a second ago. Come on. I had it in position and it seemed to do it for just a moment. Hmm. If I put that there. Oh, there we go. Okay. That'll work. Okay, so we got a little little bit of sand here, but that's not, not really going to be a problem. Excellent. Okay, so let's go all the way across the water here. And, um... Probably what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a, just a large platform at this level covering, you know, a roughly this whole area that I'm that my cursor is sweeping. And one part of it will be, well, what I might actually do is I might put the water pumps like a do like a group, like a water pump and two coal generators. And then another area that has a water pump and two coal generators and, and do it that way. Um, we'll see. I don't know. I got I to gotta think about that part of it a little bit more. Uh, but let's get all the way over to here so I can show you guys where the coal nodes are. Oh, shit. I forgot about that. <laughs> you got to start building the damn thing before you... Uh, um, yeah, see, I can't bring my build menu up now while I'm treading water. I, am, I should be able to reach it from it over here. If not, we'll just use the global grid to connect it. Oh, we got a monster, a big, big guy over here. Is he going to charge us in the water? Okay, he's in the water. We're going to have to deal with him. Why is he going to... What's he doing? He's just... Okay. If he's going to stay down there, then we'll let him stay down there. Okay, let's zoop to there. Is he coming back? Yeah. Uh, let's also put these down here so we can heal up because this guy hits hard. Is he stuck? Yeah. Unfortunately, I can't get him from from up. You know, I can't reach him from here, and I can't use my weapon while I'm in the water. Come get me, dummy. Yeah. Well, he appears to be stuck. What's he guarding over here? Oh, you know what? There was a there was a yellow slug up here, and I, I nabbed the last time I was over here. I forgot about that. That's what he's guarding. Oh, here he comes. Okay. Okay, let's give him a couple whacks. He's not in charge mode. Give him a couple whacks. Move. Oh, shit. He hit us that time. Two wax move. And we got it. Okay. Um, one of my favorite satisfactory YouTubers is Nilaus. Um, I really enjoy watching him, and, and I got kind of learned that technique from him. You just run up to him, whack him twice, and then get out of the way. Try and dodge his attacks as best as you can. 
go back in, whack him twice, get out of the way, wash, rinse, repeat until he's dead. Seems to work pretty good. Pretty good. I'm not so good at it that I can't avoid getting hit, but we got the job done. That's the important thing. And we have bacon plants to fix the fix the damage. Okay, uh, let's actually use a couple berries for the last point there, and we're good to go on that. All right, now um. I think we're going to go ahead and zoop all the way to there. And can I... We really got to get our Blade Runners going. Uh, that's why we got to get the Caterium set up. But we need coal first. We need coal power first just because I keep having to refuel the bio plant and I'm I don't really want to expand it I know I can add more so I don't have to fuel it as often but I don't have room allocated for that and I'd rather just not do that okay so we have one normal coal node here we have another one over here and then two more just around the corner so this is a normal node as you can see And then there's two over here as well. So very, very rich in coal in this area. So one normal here and one normal here. Okay, so yeah, we're... <laughs> this area is just so uh, rich in resources in general. It's pretty amazing. So I've been all around down in through here. Killed a couple of the normal fluffy-tailed hog guys. Um... I don't remember anything real significant in terms of other resources. We might have grabbed a couple of things like, uh, I think I might have found one bauxite node and maybe a couple of things like that, but nothing real significant in here. There was like four hogs in this area. Oh, hey, we do have some sulfur here. Might as well grab it. So, okay. So what I need to do now is I need to, to do some planning, off-camera planning, have a think <laughs> about it. And then once I have a general plan in place, oh, I was, uh, I talked to my daughter who's played this game with me before and she told me what you have to do with this guy is you have to drop the berries let it come up and eat. oh this is not a good time spider for you to be showing up and then you're supposed to pet it while it's eating and that's it I think it's our friend now cool okay that wasn't so hard <laughs> thanks to my daughter Pix for uh for reminding me how to do that. Um, okay, we got Doggo. And I guess, uh, press E to see if Lizard Doggo has found anything. So I guess he can find stuff like here. And, oh my God, you're, you're a big spider. Oh shit, where did you come from? You're not like the normal average size spider. Don't hurt my Doggo. What, where'd he go? He just vanished. What the hell? They know how to teleport? Okay, that was creepy. <laughs> Shit. That was a big one, man. That wasn't the little ones. Okay. So, yeah. Not, not sure what just happened there, but he's... Oh, no. There he is. He's over there. Looks like he's guarding something. Okay, we got him. World president urges all citizens to do their part and harvest alien artifacts. What the hell? Uh Oh, is there like an There must be an artifact around. I hear it. Where is it? Huh. 
I thought I heard it for a moment, but what's this? Oh, that's some limestone that I actually dropped when I was down here because I, uh, I needed room. Here, let's pick those up and just, well, I'll take them back and throw them in the, throw them in the sink if I, if I need to. I was out of room at the time. Anyway, um, I hear an artifact, but I don't see it. Is it? Oh, right here. Oh, it's inside of this. Okay. Yeah, this is the thing we need the explosives for. Harvest. So, I mentioned this uh, in an earlier episode. For those of you who are new to Satisfactory, <clears throat> you can find these artifacts. You can't see it because it's... You are so lucky that you found this most valuable artifact. Yeah, I almost wonder if the devs are just, like, trolling us or something because it wants you to pick up this artifact, but you can't do anything Comply. with it. Comply. <laughs> like it's hypnotizing us or something. You can't do anything with them. I, and I don't know if that's something they're going to do in the future, you know, future implementation, or if the devs are actually just trolling us with those. I'm not sure, but from my understanding is that you still can't do anything with them in Update 5. I strongly advise you to harvest this specimen. It's kind of funny, yeah, because it's like it's messing with our head. Okay, anyway. Um... Before I let you go and have my thinking session, uh, we should probably heal up here. Uh, we're going to buy a couple things in the awesome shop that I want to use, uh, start using. Okay, so let's go up here. There might be another bad guy up here. Yeah, there is. Okay. Oh, I didn't time that right. These guys really knock you around, too. Oh, he's going to kill me. Yeah. Whew, that was close. Look at my health, man. <laughs> That's really close. Is Doggo with us, by the way? I kind of lost track of Dargo when we got attacked by that ginormous spider. I don't know where he is now. Man, did we lose Dargo already? Can't take me anywhere. Anyway, what I was going to say was <laughs> that uh, there's a couple things I want to get in the awesome shop before I let you go. I want to get them now so I have them available to use for what's coming up next. So let's um, heal back up here. Put these down here. Looks like I just consumed the rest of my bacon plants, but that's okay. We can get more. Um, so yeah, I'll meet you guys back up at uh, the base, and we're going to buy a couple things from the awesome shop. All right, I didn't find dog, the first doggo, but we found a second doggo. So let's get a little closer. Drop these on the ground. Here he comes. There we go. Okay. Come on, buddy. It hasn't found anything. Yeah, I was. I, I don't know if I finished explaining this because <laughs> we got attacked by that giant spider. But anyways, if he finds something, it'll be in here and then you can drag it into your slot. It's kind of cute. I don't think, I don't know that he, if he finds anything really, really good, but it's just kind of fun stuff. There's a slug. Looks like a blue slug underneath there. We'll have to blow that up at some point. I'm not sure if there's a way we can make Doggo stay. This is just iron, so we're not even going to bother with it. Okay, so press E to see if Lizard Doggo's found anything. 
Yeah, I don't see any kind of option to have him stay, so I guess he just follows us around and does his thing. And uh, <laughs> he looks like a reindeer. That's cute. Okay. Anyway, um, let's go to our awesome sink. And we have 32 coupons. Look at that. Beautiful. Let's print these guys out. All right. So we're going to put, uh, let's put this extra limestone in here. And take a look in the awesome shop. Okay, so let's see. I want uh, some catwalks. Those are going to cost us five. So the question is, do I want the industrial ones or the modern ones? I don't know. I think we already got the modern rails, so let's go with them. Yeah, let's go with the moderns. Okay, so we're going to add those to our cart. I guess we can do that from down here. All right, so we got the modern catwalks. Um, probably we'll do stairs. Well, you can actually do stairs with these, so I don't know that I'll do those. I'm definitely not going to do them right away. Okay, so we got the modern railing as well. We're good there. I want to get the concrete pillar set. So let's add those to the cart because we're going to make use of those. Um, roofs, not right now, maybe later. We'll see about that. I think that's all we want right now in the architect uh, architecture thing. Oh, let's go over to here before I forget. We're going to get the factory cart too. So that costs 10 coupons. It's kind of expensive, but very useful and fun. Uh, the rest of this stuff is just bells and whistles things. We're not worried about that. Okay, so for walls, um, I'm going to want... How many points do I have left? 17 left. Okay. I think we're going to want windowed walls. That's kind of expensive. But I think we, we want that. We might want conveyor walls too. Let, let me look at a couple more things first before we... Oh, hypertubes. Yeah, we definitely want hypertubes. So let's add hypertubes to the mix. Pipeline wall attachments and pipeline floor hole. Yeah, we are going to be working with these with the coal. Um, all right, let's go to... Oh, this definitely want this. This is the thing that will allow us to make nice ramps without the seesaw underneath. So we're going to grab those for sure. That gives us... Oh, and this does give inverted ramps. Okay. We might not really need these, though, uh, with these. These would be nice to have. Not sure that I want those quite yet. Yeah, there's some cool shapes in here that we can do some neat things with at some point. For organization, label sign bundle. Yeah, we'll we'll work on signs, but I don't think I want to mess with that right now. Custom Oh, this is what we want. Okay. Yeah, we want concrete and eventually asphalt, but maybe not immediately. Highway patterns. Man, that's expensive. Okay. How many points do I have left now? So we, we have 29. We're spending 29. We have three points left. Equipment. Parts. Okay, let's go back to walls. I've got three points left, so we can't afford these now. Wait, did I already put those in the queue? I didn't. No. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we can't afford those right now. Um, we could afford... We could do gates. We could do door walls. You know, since we're going to be working with pipes, let's just take these now. And uh, that should get us everything. Okay. Boom. Very nice. Okay, so yeah, uh, that's what we have now from the awesome shop. And we're going to have to let more coupons build up from here, which we'll do. All right, you guys, I'm going to let you go here. Well, actually, before I let you go, um, before I let you go... Let's grab, uh, let's make our factory cart, because this is fun. 
So we're going to craft that. I need to make an object scanner too. That requires three beacons. Uh, let's just do that. That requires coal for the black powder. Okay, yeah, we'll worry about that later. Uh, all right, so this is, if you haven't seen it before, the awesome factory cart. And here we go. <laughs> it moves along pretty good. It's kind of squirrely though, and it it works pretty good on on ramps in terms of just you know torque and speed. But it gets kind of squirrely when you're especially when you're going a downhill and uphill. So we want to use those new rails that we bought to put on the ramp that we uh, have going down to the new coal area so that we don't drive off. Um, I'm also going to, as soon as I can, I'm going to make myself a tractor because uh, this doesn't really do very well out in the Thule's. It spins out a lot. So for out in the Thule's, we're going to... Uh, oh shit, just about went off the edge. Uh, we're gonna do the tractor. Um, what do I need to make the rails? Let's go into uh, Architecture yeah modern railing Yeah, so let's uh, let's rail this up here and we're already in zoop mode And I'm gonna actually we're gonna rail up well we need to rail this, but I might be changing up a couple more things with the factory here because I am planning on actually walling this in. So I don't think I'm going to rail that yet. Uh, maybe we'll put a, a rail here, though, and one here. Just in case we miss the entrance to, to here. Now, that does kind of really screw things up here now if we have to get across there, but I'll worry about that later. Um, so I'm not going to rail anything out here right at the moment because I have to figure out how the build's going to go. So I'm going to leave that uh, as is. Can we reach that from here? So it takes uh, a little bit of a trek to get up here on foot. But now that we have our factory cart... Uh, okay, that was weird. See, it's, it's really squirrely, so you don't want to be going down a ramp like this without rails. It kind of kind of bounces a little bit, gets off course just a little bit. Oh, Doggo's stuck down here. See, that, that could have sent me right off over the edge there. Hey, buddy. Okay. And then to get back up... See, it scoots right on up the hill, but it does that. I mean, I didn't touch the buttons at all, and it just done, did, did that all on its own. So that's why we want to make sure we have rails before, <laughs> before we <laughs> drive this thing on any ramps. So I, 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 all I'm doing is pushing forward, and it just it does weird stuff. So rails are essential uh, for using this on a ramp. Ah. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. All right, guys. Well, I think this is probably a good spot for us to um, to wrap up the episode because, like I said, I need to have a long planning and thinking session now uh, for how we're going to set up our, our coal plant. So once I have that figured out, I'll bring you guys back in the next episode and we will get to building our coal factory. Come on, boy. There you go. Did you find anything? He did. Look at that. He found five quartz. That's useful. All right. Cool. 
All right, you guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.